Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're gonna be going over the 2020 Chevy Colorado ZR2, and this is the Bison Edition. The reason that I wanna go over this truck is I'm planning on doing a three truck comparison next week between the Colorado, the Gladiator, and then the Ford Ranger. So we've gotta get this 2020 Colorado under our belt. But as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the Colorado, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the truck. If you're in the market for a new truck, check out their inventory in the link below. Under the hood here of the 2020 Duramax Colorado, we have a 2.8 liter Duramax engine that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. In terms of fuel economy, it's 18 around town, 22 on the highway. Power figures are 181 horsepower and then 369 pound feet of torque. Starting things off on the front end, you can see the projector bulbs right there. You've got fog vents just down below. And then this is the Bison Edition. So AEV has added a ton of goodies to the truck. So there's steel skid plates underneath the truck. And you can kind of see the whole system of steel kind of like integrated into the bumper. Looks really, really cool in general. Like I said, this is all blacked out. And then you do have kind of like the matte black here on the hood. And then you do get the Duramax diesel badging right there. Around the side here, we've got these 17 inch rims and then 265 millimeter tires in the front and in the rear as well so really good setup for the off-road and you can see just how much suspension travel you can actually have with this zr2 bison word on the street is that you can actually jump these trucks and they do pretty pretty well in general you can see colorado badging on the side and then again with the kind of steel rocker panels, I guess you could call them, on the side right there. And then I'll give you guys all a side angle so you can kind of see what the truck looks like in total. Here is the key fob for the ZR2 Bison. You got to come functions, you're locking, unlocking your remote start. So if we lock the truck and then we hold down the remote start, we can hear that diesel come to life. And it actually does sound like a real diesel, so that's good to know. Press that again and it'll shut it right off. You can see the tailgate here is slow lowering. You've got bed liner in the truck bed and you can see it says ZR2 right there at the edge of the bed, which is a nice little touch. And then the bed here is actually a pretty decent size for a small pickup truck. Lifting up the tailgate, it's actually pretty light in general. And then we actually look at the tail lights. So you can see it's just this like massive cluster. It says Colorado right there, blacked out Chevy bow tie, AEV. And then you can see that you've got a couple tow hooks here on the rear. You've got all of your plugins for towing as well, which by the way, um, I believe this truck spec wise with the diesel engine tows like 7,000 pounds, which is a really good amount. I want to show you guys this angle of the truck before we head to the back cab, because you can just see how the cool like steel bumper system with the rock, whatever you guys want to call it. Just such a cool look on this truck. I think AEV has done a fantastic job. Now, in the rear here, you can look at the door panels. So we've got a little bit of soft touch right here. You've got your window control in that whole area, and then we'll head into the inside. So on the inside here, you can see that this one actually has the leather upholstery. So you've got some contrasted stitching in here. It's kind of like the whole seat set up. You can see that this, you can actually pull it out. There's a couple of cup holders, and then you can see you've got a couple charging stations back here, full rubber floor mats as well in this ZR2. And then in terms of legroom, it's actually a pretty decent amount. Obviously, it's not going to be huge because this isn't a full-sized truck, but you could comfortably fit two people back here, three people if you're okay with a little hump in the middle. Now, opening up the door panel here in the front, you can see that you've got more soft touch right here. You've got this nice little silver trim. All of your window controls right there with your mirror adjustments. And then for the door handle, lock and unlock function right there. And then if we look at the seat here in the front, you can see that you've got some power adjustments on the side with manual adjustments right there. And then here's the whole kind of like seat setup in general. So leather says AEV at the top, which is a really cool touch. The leather here is actually pretty nice in general, contrasted stitching. And then we can see the pedal layout just down below right there. You've got your little parking brake. All of your light controls are right here. You've got your two wheel high, you've got your four wheel auto, four wheel high, and then your four wheel low, and then your trailer brake controls already integrated right there. Start up the ZR2 Bison. All you have to do is just put your key in the ignition. Obviously it's a diesel, so if it was really cold outside, you need to wait for it to do the preheat before you start it up, but we kind of already warmed it up a little bit, so the engine should be good to go. Boom, starts right up. You can see on this part of the steering wheel, 
we've got all of our controls for that little center screen right there. Your voice commands, phone controls, Chevy logo in the center, heated steering wheel actually. This is all your cruise control. And then you can see leather wrapped steering wheel all the way around with some stitching on the center part of the steering wheel. And then you've got your regular little turn signal light stock over there with the uh, brights and then you've got your windshield wiper stock on the other side. Now you can see here in the center screen cluster you've got your RPMs on the left side on the right side you've got the speed and then you've got that little digital cluster there in the center which you can scroll through a bunch of different menus you can see it's in demo mode so I can't really go through all of it exactly but you guys can at least see the little pictures for the different diagrams that you can go into. Now here's our center touchscreen, and this is Chevy's newer unit so other than the fact that there's plastic on it which is kind of getting in the way it's actually really responsive when you don't have the plastic on it I promise guys. Um, but yeah you can see the touchscreen actually does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and if we actually pop it into reverse you can see the backup camera pops up it's got little trajectory lines and then you've got this little button so that you can have like a trailer line essentially so really easy to use in general right there. We've got radio controls flanking both sides. You've got your little home button for the touchscreen. You've got all of your analog controls right here and it is just a single zone climate. And then here you've got your cargo light. That's actually your hill descent control, exhaust brake since this is a diesel. You've got your hazard lights. That's your lockers. You can see front and rear since this is hardcore off-road vehicle. Stability control and then your heated seats. You can have it on both or just the back of the seat. See in here, you've got a couple USBs and an auxiliary and you've got a little 12 volt right next to it. A couple cup holders right here, that shifter for the six speed automatic. And you do have some dual shift functions on the side of the shifter. And then it does have low gearing, wireless charging. And you've got your little center console here which you can lift this up. Decent amount of storage space inside. And then you've got your whole glove box set up right here. And again, pretty decent sized glove box, especially for the size of truck. We've got our little sunglass holder up top right here, all of our light controls. And then you've got a couple of the microphones for the Bluetooth system. And other than that, they keep things simple up top. Now, before we wrap things up, take this out to drive, let's talk about pricing. So in terms of pricing, this truck stickers for just over $53,000 before any type of market adjustment, which, I mean, like I said, take into consideration, you know, the fully loaded interior, the diesel engine, and also that Bison package on top of that. I mean, this thing is fully, fully decked out. That all being said, let's take the ZR2 Bison out to see how it drives. Before we fully set off in the Colorado ZR2, let's talk about visibility. So you can see visibility over the hood is a decent amount. And that gets in the way a little bit, but it looks cool, so it's totally worth it. You can see visibility throughout this mirror. It's nice. They give you a little convex mirror on the side. You can see visibility throughout the other mirror. And then throughout the truck in general, it's actually pretty easy to see out of. And the nice thing is since this is lifted up a little bit higher suspension-wise, you're kind of above everyone to an extent. So initially setting off here in the ZR2, the first thing I'm noticing is all of the torque that this truck has, especially compared to other trucks that are in this same segment. It's just... It feels so much torque here, and obviously it has so much more torque, you know, compared to the Gladiator and then also com compared to the, you know, new Ford Ranger. It's just going to be a little bit torquier than both of those. Now, in terms of steering on this, it's actually really direct for a truck, which I'm pretty surprised by. I mean, it just goes right where you put it, which is definitely a really nice feeling in general. So this truck, you can just place it so easily and the small size also helps with that. Get a little acceleration here with the ZR2. Yeah, I mean, it actually moves pretty decently. Um, obviously, you know, 180 something horsepower roughly is not a huge amount, but like I said, this is all about torque and it's gonna benefit by, you know, when you're on the off-road, you know, all that low end torque, it's gonna make this truck just be an absolute monster. But yeah, I mean, it's, it rides on a wave of torque, but you know, the power, it is a little bit limited on that side of things. So wrapping things up with the ZR2 Bison, if you're looking for a super capable off-road truck that, you know, literally you can jump all that kind of stuff. And obviously this isn't nearly as expensive as the other truck that's very well known for jumping, which is the Ford Raptor, then this is definitely a great one to go for. I mean, the diesel engine is gonna be super reliable and the fuel economy on it's actually pretty decent in general, especially considering the tire 
setup on this truck in general. Um, but with all that being said, I mean, yeah, if you are in the market for a cool off-road truck, definitely check out this new ZR2 Bison. And there we have it, everyone. The 2020 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. Absolutely love this truck. I think it's an insane off-road truck. And if I had the money to have a second truck, probably get something similar to this. But anyways, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Chevy. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see all of you in that next video.